congratulations to Virtual Kumar. Uh, he's been a CFL student and a Lutz student. Uh, he has got an All India rank of 10 in the UG exam. Uh, that makes him uh, as now a student of Triple IIT Hyderabad. Uh, in the recent JE Advanced exam, also, he's got a 588 rank, and it's an outstanding uh, achievement for him. So, here I am to uh, talk to Ujwal and uh, share his experience uh, and tips for the students out there. How did you get that, and what were your work? You know, what were your tips to the students out there who are looking to uh, crack the JE Advanced in the coming years? Like the first tip, I feel like many people don't do is uh, keep uh, progressing. Don't do, uh, keep doing one type of problems. Don't keep doing one level of problems. Always keep upping your difficulty, okay? Because J advanced, it's very unpredictable. They might keep an easy paper, they might keep a hard, hard paper. In uh, 2020, I felt like the paper was extremely calculated, right? So you need to pre be prepared for all those things. So don't uh, stagnate. It's very important. Don't use calculators also. Many people do that. They use calculators at home. Don't do that. Make a timetable if you're like me. If you can't uh, concentrate and then you can't make up your mind like what you want to study today, make a timetable before you go to bed every uh, night. So, uh, Vujwal, uh, you were a student um, till 10th standard who didn't know about all these competitive exams. How did you hear about CFL and how do you think CFL helped you? Yeah, uh, in 10th, I had a lot of classmates who were in CFL and uh, it was like a big thing in 10th, being in CFL because they taught you a lot about Olympiads and uh, higher education, they covered the portion in, in 9th and 10th, so you have a head start and you, uh, many of my CFL classmates also did Olympiads in 10th, uh, if you know Kaustubhi did the uh, Maths Olympiad, so that's very good. And I got to know when my uh, maths teacher asked me, uh, are you a CFL student? I was like, no, but that was the moment I was like, what is the CFL? That was the moment I knew about CFL. Okay. So when you joined CFL, you were probably in the top 10 students. So how did you work towards in these two years to become the top student of CFL? So first thing is consistency. You need to work hard every day. You can't. Uh, take too much breaks because you lose practice and CFL tests in particular uh, try to perform well in, the, in those tests How did you keep yourself motivated for the day eight hours? Yeah, uh, first thing is you give yourself a goal don't uh, just be blind and just keep cruising forward you give yourself a goal I want to get under 10 in this test I want to cover this much portion and then put your uh, heart into it keep uh, yeah, keep wake up every day and don't think of anything else. Just think on how do I achieve this, and you will start uh, improving. And one more uh, point is when you look at your classmates, and if you see them surpassing you, and, and you're like, What did I do? What did I do wrong? Should I have worked harder? So, how uh, we always say teamwork is very important, learning yeah. from others is very important. Who are the people and how did they, you know, how did the team or their colleagues at CFL or elsewhere in as well help you perform better? In, in CFL, students are really helpful to one another. Like if one guy doesn't understand something, he can always approach his classmates. No, uh, they will clear his doubts no matter what. Even if it takes time, even if it hurts them, they will clear it. So yeah, that is the students and then the teachers also. In lunch break, you can always approach them. They never say no, even if it delays their class. They are, they are really helpful actually. Um, even if you ask, ask uh, book recommendations, they recommend you books. Even if you feel like you are not performing well and you are feeling very sad, uh, they will help you out. They never say no to nothing. So, um, which were later, earlier when we speak, you said that there were a couple of things like mentorship and counseling at CFL helped you. Can you tell us how? these things help you to the students out there. About mentorship, the teachers here really know about a lot about the colleges and the, the other options available, right? So they won't let you be misguided. They, they won't let you join an institute that is not, that you don't deserve, right? So if you want to join a lower ranking institution, they will always explain why you should join something else because that is better for you. Uh, that is a uh, counseling.
uh, I went through counseling personally for uh, taking the decision between UG and uh, IITs, uh, IITs and triple IITs. So it cleared up a lot of my doubts. Let's say uh, you are talking to the individual who's there right now, 10 in 10 standard, and uh, and there are similar individuals like people like you in 10 standards. If you could do one thing differently, yeah. what would that one thing be? Start studying in 10th. Because I didn't study in 10th. Studying in 10th opens up a lot of doors because you get that extra time. And in that uh, time, you're not forced to do anything else other than 10th. Um, I'm sure your parents, dad sitting out there, is proud, your mother, your sister, your family is proud. I hope that this is the first step of your success. And I hope that a lot more success comes your way. So thank you. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you.